What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So I want to preface today's review uh, with I didn't make any snap judgments and I gave plenty of time for this easy connector to be on the truck and to use it day in and day out. If you're not familiar with the channel, I run a remodeling business. Uh, so we, all, we have these connectors on both the dump trailer and the tool trailers. And so we use them every day, hitching and unhitching the truck. And so in today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly what I feel about it uh, and if I recommend it or not. So stay tuned. So we're out here right in the moment uh, messing around with our easy connector. So this thing just absolutely bugs the crap out of me. I think I'm going to go back to the seven way. So one of the things that we have, Jordan, you can come in here really close, but this connector, there's nowhere for it. Okay. So I'll start by saying that this is supposed to be like 100% weather tight. So it has dual O-rings in it, and then it really has positive engagement inside the, uh, in the female section here. And so there's nowhere for the air to escape. So when you push it in, we have a lot of, we have a horrible time getting it to actually seat all the way into the connectors. So basically what this is, is just some flat pins here. And these pins in the female side are all on springs. So what we're really struggling with is getting these un ungunked really, because they gunk up with road grime and the springs stick and they won't come out and contact these brass terminals. They also get tarnished. So what we just did off camera was we just had to wire brush these and we've had to do this like three or four times this month. This has a really, really strong magnet that has like really positive engagement and it is really hard to get this, to get this apart. So what happens is this magnet attracts all the crap from everywhere, from around your hitch, from anything metallic will pack up on the front of the connector, which will also keep it from getting a hundred percent connection. So we just came back from the job site and we realized we have the right brake light out. Well, the right brake light is because this wasn't seated correctly. And then you end up getting some stress on the cable because you're pulling and yanking on this thing. So uh, just this morning, we were struggling to get the lights lit up. The running lights didn't want to light up, so we had to mess with it this morning. So just today, we've messed with it three times. Um, and so far, I've been running this thing for like a year, and it hasn't got any easier to pull apart. Uh, it's really hard to connect and, and have stay connected. Um, also, the spring, something's goofy with the spring. It came apart. Um, we don't know. I have to just put it back together. I'll have to take the door off and redo the spring altogether. So, really not impressed with the system. It's a cool concept, but then your trailers cannot be hooked to any other truck. They have to have this connector. So that's what I'm not crazy about is if I want to tow with another truck it would have to have this easy connector system or I have no lights. So I don't know. I give this product a thumbs down. I think it's a cool concept. We've been running it for what over, over a year now. Um, and the guys in me just struggle with it a lot. So it's just, I give it a thumbs down. I think I'm gonna go back to the seven way because frankly, I can tow the trailer with any truck and I don't have to worry about uh, this making good connection because everything comes through here. Trailer brakes, um, if we have weak trailer brakes, it's because of this connector. If we have weak lights, we have weak running lights all the time. And at the end of the day, it just pisses you off that it's just not easy to use. And so, uh, a lot of the times we'll get it to this point where it looks like it's seated, but then it needs to be pushed in and wiggled in all the way to get all of the air out of it. So um, a lot of learning curves with this, but overall, I don't like the product. So Jordan's going to keep the camera on the back of the trailer and you can see the lights the, the these are the parking lamps They're I feel like they're dim there, but if you wiggle around the connector, it really it really gets dim. Are they flickering back there? Yeah. Yep. So I'm not even manipulating the, I'm not even like 
it, it's not like I'm disconnecting it or I'm pulling it apart. This is literally just me wiggling the cord and the lights, like they flicker because the, the contacts are the contacts are on springs. So if you get some gunk, like I'm literally just tweaking the, barely tweaking the connector. So are they still flashing back there? Yeah, yeah so that, that's kind of my biggest pet peeve is those, those uh, spring-loaded connectors or spring, yeah, see, so here's a, here's a case in point. Okay, I just let go of the connector. I came back here to the back of the trailer and we can only see these lights because it's dark in the shop and we turn the high bay lights off. Well, they're actually I mean, they're not, the top isn't, but they the, are there. Now okay, now they're on. Not okay. just because I'm wiggling the connector. So Devin's wiggling the connector, Devin 2, D2. And so, yeah, this, these are the things that we struggle with. Like, ah, yeah, it could be a lot better. So where I just had it, it just was dim and it doesn't work. So you're going down the road and you're in, encountering these situations. So, ah, that's my two cents on it. I give it a thumbs down.